Yes, welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, May 13, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. But first of all, today, the market basically got what it wanted. It was a little bit of bad news. Due to the fact market was fairly overstretched and it technically needs a little bit of uh, uh, bad news in order to fall. And we expected that bad news last Friday. We didn't get it, but we did get it today. And the market fell substantially and also the US dollar appreciated substantially. But still, we're trending underneath the 20 exponential moving average. We need to break this in order to go to the 50 and the 200 and then continue higher. So the thing here is that market is expecting the, the Federal Reserve to change its policies to increase interest rates. Um, Fed has basically said that is not going to happen. And um, probably the main reason why we are seeing this increase here is due to the fact that the increased interest rate will basically also affect the U.S. Uh, currency. So it will also appreciate if the U.S. interest rates go up. So... We are seeing that effect here, but uh, as long as the Fed is saying, no, we're not changing interest rates, we can see this tumble really easily just by a comment by uh, Jerome Powell or uh, and so on. So just keep that in mind. But we will probably see another rally here at tomorrow's session before continuing um, this depreciation of the US dollar. So if this breaks above the 20, then we'll go to the 50 up here at 91.67 break below these previous lows here and then we'll drop substantially so this candlestick here was a warning that we were going to see a rally so we did drop below the bollinger band rallied created this hammer and then we rallied the upside technical indicators are also favoring uh, upward momentum and this will have an effect a negative effect on commodities precious metals and so on more expensive this becomes well more expensive commodities become and therefore prices will also decrease so let's look at oil. So oil didn't really get affected that much. We did run into resistance here at the top of the bullish band and opened a negative there right now. So technical indicators are boring, to be say the least. Uh, we're right in the middle of things. Uh, a terrible place to basically trade, either to the upside or the downside. Technical indicators are MACD is technically flat at this point. Stochastic is bullish, CCI is becoming bearish, and RSI is flat. So... 50, 20 exponential is holding, so pull back towards the 20 at uh, 63.89 will most likely be where we'll find uh, we'll find um, support. We can also look at this and the, the different that we are basically trading in a triangle, and that we are most likely going to break above this uh, triangle to the upside and head towards 70. So. It's going to be choppy into the corner and then rally to the upside. That's most likely what's going to happen here. So let's look at that natural gas. So natural gas uh, did go higher today. Like I said in yeah, previous videos, it looks like we were building momentum. Usually when it trade, trends sideways like this, it just builds momentum until we get close to the 20 exponential and then it just rallies to the upside. We are getting fairly close to being over. Uh, but and uh, there's not a lot of room to the upside here in order to get to the top of the bullish band so that'll probably be a combination of this getting over stretched and over bought and then we'll see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band we haven't seen that real pullback yet so we also have a previous highs here which also is right at the top of the bullish band so that's going to be interesting to see technical indicators otherwise are very bullish so momentum is still to the upside so let's look at copper so for most the metals today, uh, or yeah, or they they basically fell, and uh, it was about time for copper to fall after this massive rally here. So we'll probably drop towards uh, give or take four point five. Uh, that's most likely where we are going to head towards. Technicals are all turning around. We were significantly overbought, overstretched, and uh, yes, it is uh, about time we see a pullback in copper. So let's look at uh, gold. 
So yes, um, we had an absolutely horrible day today, but this was no surprise. As I said, we have the 200 moving average here. We also have the... No, that was not what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to get the Fibonacci. So we also have the 61.8 Fibonacci right around this area here. So we didn't get as far as we could, way outside of the bullish band, on the edge of being overbought, and it was only about a matter of time for this to break down towards support, which most likely will be the middle of the bullish band here at 1790 or 1800, give or take. If that basically breaks, then we could see this tumble all the way down to the very bottom. Break above the 200 moving average, opens the door to the 1900 and then beyond that. So technically, otherwise, are favoring the downside as we are need, in need of a basically a pullback in this market. So let's look at silver. So silver, very similar. Uh, we got way ahead of ourselves and uh, we needed basically a uh, pullback, which we got today. So we were way down and most metals, precious metals and so on, the market was basically down and it needed some kind of bad news in order to basically nudge this to the right direction and that we also did. So we'll mostly find major support down here at the 20 exponential. If that breaks, then we have the 50 right here at 25.8 and then the 200 moving average down here at 25.6. Technicians are all turning around and that is just uh, normal as we are witnessing a pullback towards support before going higher. We are still in this uptrend here if we find support here we will mostly continue rallying up towards the 29 and to these previous highs here at 28.3 so let's look at platinum so platinum as well fell and uh, we're just continuing this uh, same upward trend that we have been in we'll most likely find major support down here at the 1190 which should be the, where we'll find where this upward trend line so we also have uh, the resistant line around here and we are just a little bit higher so we're just going from the bottom to the top bottom to the top and probably the target here will be 1300 so break below here when then we can basically drop to 1100 and probably the 200 moving average Technical indicators are favoring the downside, so we'll probably have another day or two before we rally yet again. So let's look at Pallium. This got really hammered today. Yes, we did. We did drop below the 20 exponential, and uh, at this current stage, it looks like we're heading towards the bottom of the bullish band at 2763. 20, uh, we have been in a massive rally for the last few months and uh, pullbacks were expected. But um, at this current stage, probably down here at uh, 2766, bottom of the bullish band or the 50 moving average should also offer massive support. As we can see that the 50 moving average is also where we basically broke out. So we did break out here, rallied, so we could go and retest that area before continuing to the upside break below the 50 opens the door to the 200 and then we're back and we're basically where we started in this range technical indicators are all favoring the downside at this current stage so uh, yes we'll probably see this drop even further so let's look at aluminium so aluminium did fall today and uh, this is also just a continuation of uh, the same trend that we have been in we have been rallying to the top Broke, uh, broken down towards the middle of the bullish band, rally to the top, broken down, and so continue. So this took some time, but finally we see some movement to the downside. We can also see that all technical indicators are turning around. We're no longer in overbought uh, conditions, but we'll mostly find a major support down here at the middle of the bullish band at 23.95. That is probably where we drop to. The 50 moving average down here, if this breaks, then we'll drop to the 50 at the 22. Uh, 78 so let's look at nickel so nickel as well we rallied up towards uh, 18,151 and then gave all of those gains back so at this point it looks like we're heading back towards support at the 50 at the middle of the bullish band at 16,000 or uh, 17,000 give or take technicians are all turning around and uh, we had a really nice run here and need to pull back a little bit before 
going higher. So let's look at sugar. So sugar did hit the top yesterday and now we basically fell and uh, we kind of expected that we'll fall back towards support at the 0.1713. Technical indicators are still very bullish except for the RSI which is turning around at this point. So we're hitting the top of the bullish band on the edge of being our bot and uh, technical indicators are still bullish but kind of flat at this point. So pullback would make sense before continuing to the previous highs up here at 0.1886. So let's look at cotton. So cotton uh, uh, rallied up towards uh, 0.9841 and then dropped and created this inverted hammer. So we're still holding at the middle of the Bollinger Band, but drop below here opens the door to the 50 and then the, middle, the bottom here of the Bollinger Band and then probably all the way to the very bottom here. So this is still holding and even where it's probably likely that we'll also rally from here heading back towards 0.9176. Technical indicators are all over the place. So MACD is flat, Stochastic is bearish, CCI is becoming bullish and RSI is flat. So they're not really helpful at this current stage. So let's look at Kakoa. So Kakoa did rally yet again today, as I said for many times, it can basically break down 10-12%, rally 10-12%, break down, rally, it is all over the place, it is just a complete pure gamble. If you're sitting at the computer all day long and so on with the several um, several charts of this move in different time frames, then you probably can catch one of these uh, one of these moves, but otherwise it's a complete other gamble. You could also have a massive stop loss or take profit and so on, or a massive risk and just take profit when you can, but why? That doesn't make any sense. So that's why I'm just staying far away from this. So let's look at wheat. So wheat did fall, rally yesterday and then fell yet again. It looks like we're just uh, trading in between uh, 766 and then the bottom here at 713. Um, if we break the 50 move, uh, 20 exponential, we could drop towards the 700 and then to the 50 moving average, or probably the previous high zero, probably where we'll head to 683, 84. Technical indicators are all turning around and favoring the downside at this point. So, commodities, precious metals, and so on, they are being hammered at this current stage. So, hope you find it helpful. You're willing to support our channel by subscribing and hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos. And good luck and thank you very much.